night's sleep. I wish I could come out and talk to you, darling, but it's impossible. You've seen. I have to tell you, Julia, I'm getting increasingly concerned for my future. I don't know how this will end. For all I know, in a fortnight's time, I'll be waking up with a bald head and a bit of a grin. How do you feel, Mr. Bagley? Much better, thank you, Doctor. But one thing I'm not, darling, is insane. I'm 100% normal. When I came in here, it was my intention to make a film. I wanted to tell the world about advertising. It's not finished, of course. It's difficult to concentrate with a shanker yakking on your neck. The world is in danger, Julia. The greed is out of control. Greed is abolishing the future. It's turning truth inside out and upside down. And this is its poisonous mouthpiece. Oh, no. Oh, Christ, I think I've woken up. I'll have to be quick. What I have to explain is the mechanics of a holocaust. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And I'm not talking about atom bombs, darling. I'm talking about hamburgers. I had a nasty feeling I was going to have to wake up to this. If I was you, I'd turn this off, Julia. It's only going to upset you. You see what a nightmare I'm in? You see why I can't talk to you? Who are you talking to, then? God, it converses. I'm talking to it. I need a cigarette. Be silent, you Moloch! Moloch? Yes, yes, you, you Moloch, you bogey! If you insist we have to listen to this bullshit, I need a cigarette. All right, I'll get you one. But on one condition, that you keep quiet while you're smoking it. Deal. Swear! I might be a shanker, but my wallet is my bond. Don't turn off, darling. Sixty seconds and I'll be back. <laughs> 